Hello everyone and welcome to another episode, or rather, the final, final episode. That works, right? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. The final, final episode of Call of the Sea. And, uh, you know, a smart man would have saved his progress before he made the decision uh, at the very end of the game, but I am not a smart man. So I had to go back and redo all of the puzzles at the beginning of the chapter and get us to this point. Uh, I did notice something interesting in my journal. These were already filled in before I opened the door again. So that was a fun little thing. So here we are. We're back at this black pool. Harry, is that you? Uh, Nora's sitting here worried that that's Harry. We know from the previous ending that uh, that's probably What's-Her-Face instead of Harry. Um... So we get to. And you perform the ritual, you, you poor fool. But why? I don't understand it. Why? You knew it. You knew it wasn't going to work. And Harry fakes her out, makes her think. The ritual wasn't going to work. Fakes her out, makes her think it's him. That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? Because he loves you, Nora. We know that. Again, uh, while we go through this last little section and we really uh, get ready and we, we revisit all of Nora's memories again, um, if you, you like this style Cassandra. of series, to be her. Um, if you like these puzzle she adventure games, please, please leave a like. Leave, um... But it was too late. She shot you with your own gun. And left you for dead, didn't she? Leave a like. If Subscribe. Tell your friends that this is what because kind of content I'm producing now. Because I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, also... I did discover on the beach, um... The mo copy of Moby Dick this time around with uh, that hollowed out dagger. Oh. Uh, my community member and mod, Nether Dragon Lord, told me to check this. Uh, so, hold up. So we got Obed Marsh and someone from this island uh, who begat. Ruth and Alice Marsh. Um, and Isaiah Marsh, by the looks of it. Yep, okay. Ruth went on to not marry. Alice and May married Benjamin Orr. Gave Eliza Orr and James Williamson. Doug Williamson. Walter Williamson. Um, and Beth Williamson. Married Louis Olmsted for Robert Olmsted. Uh, Williamson and Sonia Bond made Lawrence Williamson. Okay. Uh, Isaiah Marsh married Edna Bayer, Abner Barrow, Eleanor Marsh to Nora Barrows. Nor Nora Barrows and Harry Everhart. Um, so that's interesting. Not really sure what all, other than showing the parentage here of tracing back all the way to the island, uh, unless I missed somebody's name. Um, I don't think that... You had doubts um, about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The yeah, I was actually kind of looking for Cassandra's name there, and it's not there, so... But you refused to believe it. Until the island itself spoke directly to you. Ha ha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. So yes, I'm, I'm going to continue these, these style of adventure games. Um, I'm thinking the next one will be uh, Firmament from Science Studios. The, the, what I would consider 
the godparents, if not the parents, of this genre of game with Mist. Um, so Firmament, I, I, it's coming out next week. I'm, I'm hoping uh, to have an episode ready for you on Friday. If I don't, it'll be ready for you on Saturday. Um, so that's what you can look forward to that's going to be the next game i thought it was going to be abduction which is also from sign studios but i have uh i have decided that i'm going to check out the new game firmament uh from cyan and we'll revisit the old stuff uh at a later date so here we go She's got to go through all her memories and, and stuff like that, and then we're going to make the choice. Oh, we're not going to make the same choice we made last time. We're going to make a new choice. But Harry, she's too smart for you. So I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship, a whole beautiful life together. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it. And return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. It is, and we're deciding return home. You were right about one thing, Harry. I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. I know who I really am and where I belong. I know fate has eternal life in store for me, but an eternal life without you? Is worthless, meaningless. So, I choose the slow and painful death. I'm going back home. Now, how does she get home from there? Is the question. Because she was just swallowed up by the black ooze. So, she had to find a way to get out of. Oh. It just spat her out somewhere. The answer is yes. It just spat her out somewhere. This ruse because you love me. But true love is reciprocal. So I'm also making this decision because I love you. Our love is greater than fate, lineage, or or all the pain I can suffer. Whatever time we have left, we'll spend together. When the time comes, it will be your hand that holds mine. And there's the ship. And those beautiful blue eyes will be the last thing I see before I leave. All right, back home to Harry. Let's see what this ending is. So, you didn't find your husband on that island, Mrs. Everhart? I did find my husband. He wasn't on the island, though. But what have you been doing these three days? Then? What did you find there? I don't know. The truth about myself, I suppose. And at the same time, the reason to go back home. I don't think I follow you. Have you ever been in love, Captain Hodgson? In love? You mean like in a romance novel? No, that's fiction, Captain. In real life, true love stories don't end with a wedding. They end with a funeral. And the only thing that eases that final moment of heartbreaking sadness are all the good memories lived together. Honestly, I don't think I've ever felt anything like that, Mrs. Everhart. But if you love your husband that much, He's certainly a lucky man. We are both lucky. 
That is way sweet. Almost made me tear up. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. So we don't get to go back and see Harry? empty since I went away really Stars don't seem to be I feel so I, that's close. that's interesting to me that it yes, ends with her going back to the boat guard you while and I not and think you're going to join us some sweet day interesting oh, well once again, this has been Call of the Sea. Unless it comes after the credits, which I don't remember. It might be. But, um, this has been Call of the Sea once again. The alternate ending. And, uh, probably wouldn't be considered. Well, it depends on how you look on it, if it was the true ending or not. Really, it comes down to what you believe and what you feel watching this series. Is it right for Nora to have gone through uh, and become uh, a fishwoman and serve the old ones for eternity? Or go back to um, Harry and live a mortal life? Um, that's really, really up to y'all. Really up to how you feel the right ending is. And let me know down in the comments which ending you preferred, whether it was this one or the first one. Uh, personally, I, th I think uh, the romantic in me loves the second one, uh, but the Lovecraftian in me loves the first one. So I just gave you an odd answer. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, but yes, the next series will be Firmament. That'll start up as soon as I'm able to get a uh, get the game and get a recording done. Uh, I believe it releases on the 18th. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Might have to get a little creative on when I'm going to record that. Um, this time is limited. But if you've been enjoying this channel, the direction I've been taking it, uh, the content that I've been doing and my lovely voice. Well, I'm fine, Harry. Don't worry. I can keep going. <laughs> no, listen. Let's leave it for today. You shouldn't make any unnecessary efforts. <laughs> really, darling, I'm fine. <laughs> you need to rest, Nora. Come on, I'll take you to bed. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's different. She doesn't finish the song in this ending. Oh yeah, there was a post credits. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. In the end, it didn't matter. You returned home and forgave my deception. We moved close to the sea and had a few more good years, didn't we? Until you left me. At one sunny March morning. I wish I could be reunited with you. But fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life. With no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now. My dear old pal. Hmm. Okay, so he still ended up in Miss Katanagu. All right. Okay. There you go. Hmm. Interesting. All right, friends. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for hanging out. Remember, uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you'd like to see when I do videos, when I do games like this, and there's there's a choice at the end, uh, and alternate endings. If you'd like these mini episodes afterwards. Um, that like button let me know that 
that you do want to see that more. Um, and that'll be it for me today. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you have an excellent day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.